Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at a clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And uh, yeah, it's when I feel like it. That's when I do things. When I feel like it. So we're doing a series right now. I hope you're doing things when you feel like it too. We don't want to be. That's that's the the way. That is the the law of the land here, Perlo land. But uh, we're doing a um, series because I had a friend, because he says you're such a positive person all the time. I challenge you to pick the least liked player, your least liked player for every team. And uh, it was a challenge. I was like, well, I, I didn't really like the idea all that much, but I got into it. I'm like, okay, what the heck? We'll do it. So last time we did, uh, this is cap friendly here. This is the cap friendly. It's the best there. I said it. I'm starting from cap space. At the top of this list is the teams with the least amount of cap space. And as you go down, it's the most amount of cap space. So we finished at Anaheim yesterday. Go check that out. That was exciting stuff right there. Go find out if, uh, and tell me in here, this is the other thing, this is a poll. I wanna hear who your least favorite player is for each team. And yes, I'm doing my own team here too. This isn't just, I'm doing, I have a least favorite player on my own team. What's the least favorite player on your team? I posted this to, uh, was it Anaheim? No, it was the St. Louis Blues. I posted it on uh, Facebook there, the St. Louis Blues. And a couple of people came on and said, this is a stupid question. Why, you know, like as if to say that they don't have a least favorite player. Now, why wouldn't you have a least favorite player on your team? Isn't there one player that's like, eh, not a big fan. Is that wrong? Do you have to love everybody on your team to equally no, I don't think you do. Well, maybe you do. Tell me all about it. But we're going to get into it anyways. And if there's a little bit of a, a rustle or sound problem here, let me know. I'm working on that with my computer and all that. So tell me if you have that in the comment section as well. By the way, thanks for all for subscribing. Your Pearls of Wisdom necklaces are in the, are in, uh, the Pearlocopters. And Hernandez and Melissa are working around the clock to make sure you all get them. And for those of you who like to hit the like button, oh, we love that here at Pearls of Wisdom Industries, don't we? Whatever you do, hit that like button. That would be great. Hit the don't like too. We don't mind it. We love the don't likers. It's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Not even a little bit. Okay. So we're getting, I said Anna, we finished at Anna and we're going to the Jets. This was a tough one. Because I'm not really a, not a Jets fan. Uh, I mean, but I, I'm not any a fan. I'm not a fan of really any team. But there isn't many players on here. I, I had a hard time finding somebody that I would put in here. There's a lot of players like Shifley. Uh, why do you? What at least like Paul Stastny is a really nice guy. I almost took him because he's getting on the downside of his career, and. Uh, but that was basically it. It was going to go with like the least, my least favorite player that. So I was going to go with Lucas Spiza because he's barely an NHL defenseman, but he keeps on getting contracts all the time. But I had to go with Mr. Nate Thompson, who they just picked up for 750000 because he was on my Philadelphia Flyers. And um, I'm telling you, you're not going to be too impressed. All right. Yes, he can win the odd face off. But once he wins the faceoff now at this stage of his career, and it's hard to take Nate because he's been a beast his whole career. He's did the hard work, fighting, sticking up for his teammates and all that stuff like that. It's just, it's kind of time to go home, Nate, just a little bit. So that's my least favorite for Winnipeg. It's, tell me if you agree or disagree. Oh, I better mention, because I know a lot of you are going to say Patrick Lyon. Hey, why not Patrick Lyon? It? Because he's being a little bitch. Well, I don't think he is. I think he's got a pretty good gripe that the team played him under his uh, in the third on the third line and didn't give him strong players to play with and kept his numbers down. And now they're trying to work out a contract with him, saying, 
wow, you know, these are your numbers and using statistics and all that. That's my lean on this. And Lion is like, no. And they, they did it to Truba. That's why I said um, they did it to Truba, and it looked like they did it to Lion A too. So I'm giving them a mulligan, and that's why I didn't pick Lion A. So let's get back here. Well, who's next? Now it's, guess what, my Edmonton Oilers. I am an Oilers fan, and I'm a Philadelphia Flyers fan, and i got to pick a guy that I am not particularly fond of or the least liked. That doesn't mean I don't like them, by the way. Even with Winnipeg, it's not that I least that I don't like Nate Thompson. It's just I have to pick the least liked player from every team, and now I have to do so with my team. I almost took the newly acquired Kyle Turris because he's made a crap load of money and has not really panned out well for Nashville. But I'm going to give him a chance. And then I almost picked Alex Chase on because um, he just barely ekes out contracts and stuff like that. But honestly, he isn't really much more than he is. He's a pretty honest dude. I didn't really want to take him. I had to take James Neal. Um, oh, what was the other one? Oh, or Russell or Neal. It was close. Russell is just incredibly overrated because he blocks shots. But as, as an overall defenseman, he isn't good. He, he, he should be a 5-6 at most, and they play him in the 3-4 all the time because he's the warrior and all that kind of stuff like that. And he's um, po pretty poor at getting the puck out of the zone, and for his speed, he plays way too defensive. Way too defensive. Um, in the sense that he spends way too much time in his own zone because he won't play aggressive at all. Almost picked him, but I didn't. I'm picking James Neal. James Neal, because he acts like he's the greatest player ever, and he's had 25, 30 goals seasons. Um, he's done all right, but he annoys everybody on his team and eventually leaves. It happened in Pittsburgh, happened in Vegas, uh, happened in Nashville, uh, mostly because he's a, not a well-conditioned athlete. Calgary went and gave him a crap load of money, Kind of, I believe, on the promise that he would get in better shape, and he never did. Last year, he apparently went out and got in shape, apparently. He didn't. He stopped going to the golf tournaments all summer and all that kind of stuff like that. And he still ran out of steam. Because at 33 years old, it's a little too late to be trying to get in shape. So James Neal is my pick off of my team for the least liked player on the team. Now, let's go to our next one, shall we? Dallas Stars. The least liked player. The only one I could come up with. I almost took Tyler Sagan because um, he kind of his social media stuff is a little bit. But I really, it's kind of hard to take him. He's also had some poor performances in the regular season. But now it comes out, apparently he's been injured the whole time and playing through injuries for like the last two years. So I'm going to give him a mulligan on that. Uh, I had to go with Corey Perry, who is actually not even signed right now. But it's not that I don't, like I said, it's least liked. I had to pick a least liked. And out of all the guys that they have here, Corey Perry is just a guy you least like to have not being on your team like when you're when you're playing against him he's freaking annoying he has that look on his face where you just want to yeah would you just stop being alive <laughs> you know so uh that would be the guy that i would take but that's a role and it's a role he plays well and it's not really that i don't like Corey perry but when he when my team's playing against him he just yeah he drives you crazy and that's that's his role, but that's why he's the least liked guy. Um, now let's go. If he was on my team, he probably wouldn't be the least liked. I probably still would go with Neil if he was on uh, Edmonton. Uh, now the Montreal Canadiens. And this was a tough one, too, because there's not really anybody not to like. I almost took Jonathan Drouin just because he's underperformed his whole career. He's had injury issues. You know what? I'm going to. I've changed my mind. I was going to take Edmondson. I've all of a sudden changed my mind. Jonathan Drouin. And because the reason why is Jonathan Drouin, in his immaturity, 
in Tampa almost could have been on a powerhouse team. But he complained, he complained, he complained. He's not getting enough ice time. And ended up getting traded to Montreal for Sergachev, which was cray-cray, because Montreal thought he was going to be the next Kane too, like when he was drafted. I believe it was third overall when Seth Jones was still on the board and Tampa Bay took him, and he never has panned out. And now they're talking, like he's getting 50, 60 points. He's not a terrible player. And now he has injury issues, which has people questioning his, his conditioning as well, which I don't know if that's the case or not. But I'm taking to not like him because it just seems like the guy just never will mature. So Jonathan Drouin is my least liked on the team. It was almost going to be Joel Edmondson just because he, I think he's a very overrated defenseman. And you're about to find out so in Montreal. Now we go to another difficult team to do. A lot of these were difficult to do. The Carolina Hurricane. The Carolina Hurricane. And the only one I could come up with, because I like a lot of these guys, was uh, Nino Niederreiter. Nino Niederreiter um, basically has been annoyed every team he's been on for some reason, and I don't know what it is. Maybe Carolina fans can tell me what it is. But he was in the island... He kind of like Drew Ann, complained about not getting ice time, blah, 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 and they finally got fed up. They traded him to Minnesota. In Minnesota, they had Chuck Fletcher and then Fenton and then Guerin. All of them were disappointed with Niederreiter. Then he gets traded to Carolina, puts up some good numbers for a while, and now they're talking about trade talks there, about his inconsistency. So I'm thinking maybe commitment is an issue or something of that nature. Um, I'm not really 100% sure, but whatever it is, you better get it straightened out. And that's why I would say he's my least liked player, simply because I like most of the players. I almost took Jake Gardner because he um, is basically just not very good defensively. Uh, but he's had some back problems. It was very difficult. And then I almost took Mrazek. Um, that was close too because he's been an overrated goaltender for a long time. But I ended up going with Niederreiter. Finally, I have to go to my uh, opposition for the Oilers, the Flames. And I don't think there's going to be any too many arguments here <laughs> with the Calgary Flames on my choice. And I get to pick him because he was an ex-Oiler, and I thank God he's an ex-Oiler. And I don't want to embarrass you Calgary Flames fans, but I because I also took Neil as my least favorite uh, there in uh, Edmonton. Uh, so you know that. Go check that out if you have if you're only watching the Flames one. But it's Milan Lucic, yeah, Milan Lucic when he was in Edmonton. The, the, just like Erickson in Vancouver, and I did one on that. You might want to check that out. Lucic was annoying, not necessarily because he was overplayed for what he did. Because honestly, um, Sorelli, Shirelli and the team, they should have saw his downturn happening in L.A. already. Um, he was never a well-conditioned athlete. It was a ill-advised contract right from the get-go. And I don't bemoan somebody for signing a contract for $6 million a year. The problem I had with Lucic, even more than the fact that he couldn't keep up to anybody, uh, his skating had died so much and all of that, was the fact that he acted like everything was okay. The fact that he said, Basically, oh, you know, I got, I have, I, I think I can do, provide for a team and all of those things like that. And then when he left Edmonton and goes to Calgary, he says, I'm glad I can go to an organization that'll let me be me. Which apparently, you know, he, 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 he they say he had a strong playoffs. I don't think he had a strong playoffs. He played on a line with uh, Dubé and Bennett. They really propped up him up enough to be able to roam around and hit a few people and have a few fights. He didn't have a good playoffs. He, I mean, he had a good playoffs for a bad player like him. Probably the best he could be. But things aren't okay, Mr. Milic Lucic. You're making a crap load of money. 
you're terrible on the on a team's cap and you should be embarrassed so yeah that's, he's one of my just like Erickson he's probably my least favorite player in the league so yeah that was a pretty easy one the Calgary Flames Milan Lucic tell me Calgary fans what you think about that I have a feeling that's going to be pretty much unanimous with you as well I don't know if you've noticed this, www.steelflyers.com, an amazing website out there, boys and girls. I'd highly recommend you go check it out. We're getting so many, we got uh, Flyers Nitty Gritty on there, O&B Puck, 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 yeah, o &B Puck uh, Podcast. Uh, we have John from Off the Wall Hockey. He's on board with us and we're bringing in more and more people all the time. It's going to be, and it's going to be all sports, all sports, all, every team and a live feed going on through it all the time. Highly recommend you go check it out. Also, thank for hitting the subscribe and the bell. Thank you very much. That's my full 42% boys and girls. Let me know in the comment section what you think about your least favorite players from each of these teams. And I will comment and we can connect together. Have a great day. Lots of love to ya.